So I thought it would be fun today to go in and do some image editing. So where I've started is in my Creative Fabrica. I have the all access account. And so I found this cute Believe North Pole train image. And so I downloaded this. And then I found these whimsical elf clip art. There's a ton of pictures in this. It's got 50 plus images. So I downloaded that as well. So after you download them, you just um, uh, you just extract them from the, the file. And then I brought them into my Canva. So I'm going to go into Canva and I'm going to go to custom size here. And as you can see here, you can choose your inches, meters, centimeters, pixels, whatever you want. I like to use inches and I like to do eight by eight and I've recently used that. So I'm going to click on eight inch by eight inch here and I'm going to go to my uploads. So to bring those images in, you just hit uploads here and then you would click upload file and you would find your image. We'll upload this one and you just upload it into um, your Canva. But I've already uploaded these images. So I am going to scroll down here and find some of these images. Here are some of those cute little elves here. You can see the pictures. And I found one that is looking up that I thought was just so adorable for what I wanna use here. If I can find him back now, I'll keep this one. He is so cute. And so I'm going to bring this one in. There are just so many cute ones. And I also like this Believe image, but I don't want the train in there. So I've uploaded that Believe image as well, I think. Yes, here it is right here. So I'm going to bring this image in as well. And so you wonder, oh, those don't go together at all. No, they don't. So I'm going to move this over. And I am actually going to grab this tab here. See how that moves the image? I'm going to grab it from the top and I'm going to slide it down. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to go into my edit here. I have the Canva Pro so that I can use the magic eraser here. And I am going to get rid of some of these things that are real close to that word here. I'm going to drop my brush size down here. And I don't want this in my design. And so I'm going to, whoops, I just um, went off on that a little bit. So I am going to actually get rid of that here, cancel that. So I'm going to try it again here. So I'm going to go back to edit and magic eraser here. And I'm going to go back in and back this up, get rid of this. I don't. I did take out a little bit of that V, but I think it'll be okay. It doesn't look too terrible there. And so I just want to make sure I have that all done. I'm going to hit erase here. And now it'll bring that into our design. Go back here. And there it is. Now I have my word without um, that image in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him over and I'm going to thin this down a little bit. I'll make him bigger here, but I'm going to bring in this image again and I'm going to make it bigger because this time what I want is the Santa Claus on top. So I'm going to bring this up to right to the feet. I'll make this bigger so that you can see here. Get it right to the feet there and then I'm going to bring it down here. And now again, I'm going to go to edit and magic eraser and I'm going to erase all this stuff that I don't want in my design. So now when I'm done here, I hit erase. And you'll see that when I bring it back in, that is gone now. And there we have it. See how cool that is? So that I love the magic eraser in Canva. So now I'm going to leave that word here. And I'm going to move Santa over a little bit to the center here. And I'm going to make him bigger now so that he's looking up at Santa there. And I think that is super cute. So over, maybe move Believe over here too or leave him right here. 
So isn't that amazing what you can do? So let's go into our Creative Fabrica here and I'll see if I can find Santa sleigh with reindeer and see if um, there's something that we can upload. Oh yeah, here's a whole bunch of them. So now let's go and um, download this one. So you just hit download and it will download our images. And then when it's done, you're going to want to extract your files. So I'm going to go to extract all here and I'll save it in my downloads as that. So now I can go back to my Canva here and I can go to uploads and upload a file. And I'm going to pick the one that I want here. So I'm going to make these bigger so that we can see them because I sure don't need all of them in there. Um, Maybe this one. Bring that one in. So now what I can do is I can duplicate my page here. So I'll duplicate this and I'll get rid of this Santa Claus. And I will see if the other one's in yet. Up to the top here. Oh, there it is. And let's bring this one in. So you can change it up a little bit here. And have a different Santa. It came a little bit smaller. And I just love how he appears to be looking up at that Santa. So now I'll duplicate this again. And I will bring in my image here. Uh, this believe because I, like I said, I kind of cropped that V out a little bit. So I'm going to make this bigger. And we'll do this one again. So I'll just um, drop this down here, bring it down where I can see what I'm doing, drop this side down, and I'll move it up here. And again, I will go to edit, and I'll go to my magic eraser, and I can get rid of everything from here. I'll drop my brush size down first and get rid of what is close here to the believe without touching oop I got my e ah got it a little bit there so I'll go back get rid of that and try that again so go back to edit you got to really have a steady hand for this but it is an amazing feature here All right let's start with the big one and then I'll get smaller. you got to get free hand here I'll get rid of this part and then I'll go get a smaller brush, make my brush smaller, and then come in here and finish cleaning this up. Get rid of that black. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'll get that in. I could also pick a font and write Believe, you know, separately too, but this just made it easy because I really liked that Believe in there. And I can get Santa up here further even. Move this over a little bit. And get that centered in there a little bit more. And here we have it. We have a cute little elf looking down, looking up at Santa. All right, let's edit the elf here too. So we'll go into the magic eraser. And I might get rid of this one here. Get rid of this part here and get rid of this little piece hanging off of his hat there so i'll erase that he is the cutest little elf it could just be a little boy for that matter too so but there you see how easy it is to edit a design so now i'm going to add a new page and we'll see what else we can do here we'll see if we can change up some colors um something that i really like about this is let's just pull this guy in for now and let's put um, bring him down and let's add a text box so i'll add a text rock box and i'll write happy uh, i don't even know what i want to write well let's just leave happy for now and i'll make that bigger and then we'll add um Happy Christmas. 
All right, and now I'll make that bigger. I'll have two separate words here because I'm gonna use two different fonts on these. So I'm gonna pull it over here and now we'll go pick out our fonts. Okay, so I have happy highlighted there. So I'm gonna go into my fonts. Um, let's do that one for now, just for now. And we'll make that smaller. That is called Rachel Lynn, Rachel Lynn, and that is from Creative Fabrica. I'll have a link below so you can see how to upload fonts into Canva. So now I'm going to have Christmas highlighted and I'm going to go with bottom vibes on that one. Okay, happy Christmas. So now I'll make this bigger and get it in here. Now the fun part about this is I'll move it up so we can see what we're doing here. This one can be a little smaller. I'll move it over to the side. So now because we have these cute little designs in here, I can go up to our text color here and you can see that it brings in the colors from the images that we are using. And so I can make my text match really well with my little elf here and go to this one and I will pull in this color and see how cute that is for using the colors from your design. And then of course you can go up here and we can pick this green color here from the little elf and then we can change that color. You know, you can change it that way as well. You can change it to any of these or um, you can pick it from the color wheel as well. So you can go on and on and on with changing your colors that way in Canva. So it's super cute and a fun and easy thing to do. Now, because this one is behind or in front, I'm going to go to effects here and I'm going to go to outline and I'm going to make it white. And then you can see that the outline position this one to the back and then you can see that the outline of the white goes through that H there so I'm going to move it over a little bit here and you can see just how fun it is to bring in some word art to your image well so now in order to download these you just go up here to share and then we'll hit download here and I'm just going to download um, two of these. I'm going to download number three and number four. I have the pro account, so I'm going to hit transparent background. I'm going to raise my DPI all the way up, and I am going to leave it as a PNG. And then I'll select my pages. I am going to do page three and four, and we'll download these. And as soon as they're done downloading, I will get them extracted. And then we will, I will show you how I print with both my sublimation printer in Word and from my DTF printer. So here we go. Let's get this unzipped here. Um, extract all, here we go. Put it in my downloads. All right. So now let's open a Word document. We'll start here. I'll take a new document here. And I am going to change my layout to landscape. And I'm going to set my margins to zero. And now I'm going to go to insert on picture from this device. And so I will download one this way. So let's go to my, oops, my downloads here. And here they are. So here is one and here's the other. I'll bring this one into the Word document. I'll bring this one in the Word document. Insert. And now you can see if you go over here under picture format, you can see that it came in by that eight inch by eight inch over here. And if you hit this icon and you do the wrap and through feature, then you can move it around on the page. And so let me shrink this up for you here so that you can see how nicely that fits. So now what I would do is I would go to file. Oh, 
Oh, let me go back and show you one more thing. So you can also change the size of your image. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller that way, or you can just type in five here and it'll make it five by five, you know, so you can change your sizing on this in Word as well. Or again, like I said, you can just use your dots here and stretch it out too. So now I'm gonna go to file and print, and then I would select my sublimation print printer, which is my Epson EcoTank 2840 that I've converted over to sublimation printing by adding sublimation ink. I'll have a link below for how I converted my printer. Then under printer properties, I would change this to premium presentation paper mat, high quality. Then under more options, I want to make sure that I turn bi-directional or high speed off and I wanna make sure I'm mirroring my image. And then something that I like to do is under image options, I emphasize more and emphasize thin lines. And then I hit okay. And then this one would be ready to print. So now I'm gonna go into my DTF printer software here, my Ink Sonic, and I would add a picture here by going to my downloads and I'll pull the believe into this one and open it up. And you can see that that came in, you can see the measurements here, eight by eight over here. And so then to change the size of this one, you just drag it, you know, to whatever size that you want. And then when I hit rip, it automatically reverses it in my program. So that is how I create and print images both in my DTF and for sublimation. I hope this helps. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. See links below and leave me a comment.